Other news today. The annual kickoff for the law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics was held this morning at Sherrill Park. Brian Burns was there as law officers joined Special Olympics athletes before heading to San Antonio. Brian? Rudy, ear to ear smiles this morning at Sherrill Park. This was part of a ceremonial torch run that began in the valley, headed to Alice, then Kingsville, and finally finished in Corpus Christi before going on to San Antonio. Each group of law officers, which included city police, sheriffs, deputies, DPS, and border protection officers, did a short run with the torch and then traveled by car to the next city. Today, about a dozen made the run along shoreline, made up of both Special Olympic athletes and officers. Then tomorrow, as I said, these officers, along with hundreds of others from around the state, more than 400, will meet up in San Antonio. Some will take part in a 15-mile run through the city before the state Special Olympics kicks off and runs through Sunday. The officers at the torch run this morning were very happy to be involved. To run for them is one thing, to raise the awareness is one thing, but to come out here and run side by side with them is very heartwarming. We used to be in Arlington for the summer games and just seeing the uh, the number of athletes on the field with the officers and how they bond with us and, and kind of the dance afterwards is, is something you'll never forget. This morning's runners included the South Texas team of athletes that will be competing in San Antonio this weekend. Officers volunteer throughout the year to help raise funds to send these athletes to the Special Olympics. That is what the tip a cop events are at the Texas Roadhouse restaurant. Rudy? All the very best. Brian, thanks a lot for that. Well, some